Hi, my name is Dan Slater. I'm an Australian DJ based in Sydney, and I'm here chatting with SFL Style Magazine, and I'm DJing at the Manor tonight in Fort Lauderdale. So I first started modelling when I was a young kid. It was nothing, I was never pressured into it. My parents were just like, hey, do you want to do this? Or they gave us lots of opportunities. Um, and I started doing youth parades and TV commercials and campaigns. And then gradually, just as you get older, so you naturally progress into different, different age categories. And I've gone from being the youth model to more fitness stuff to now I do, like, uh, back home in Australia, I do, like, a lot of dad dad roles like <laughs> and I've got young families of myself so with my production partner Jim Jam uh, we've been working on some new original material uh, we've finished a couple of tracks uh, one that we're really excited about and we're in the process of actually getting our first release is called a minute of you it's, we're working with a Spanish vocalist called Nalaya. She's, she was on The Voice. She's done a lot of big circuit events. So we're really excited to be working with her. Um, and that's our first one that we'll be releasing quite soon. Yeah, dancing with recording artists like Kylie Minogue and Danny Minogue was, was quite a surreal, surreal experience because I was still at high school and getting booked for these great jobs. And then I'd go back to school and I'm like, did that actually just happen? So no, it was a really, really cool experience and I learned a lot from it. Um, my main focus for like at least 10 years was being a dancer. Um, I just got to the point where I was ready for a new challenge. So I, when I, I finished my last musical, which was Chicago, and then I actually went to university. I did a Bachelor of Business in Marketing. And at the same time, I started DJing as well. And then the DJing really took off. So I had to kind of um, put my main priorities as a DJ and a producer. So I've always been interested in dance music uh, ever since I was like at high school. Um, I remember one of the, well, this is, gosh, this would have been going back to even when I was in primary school. And I think one of the first singles I had was like Two Unlimited. Uh, so I've got a huge collection of music and always been fascinated by uh, DJs and producers and festivals. And I really wanted to just see what it was like to DJ. So I went to a full, I went to a, went to a DJ school and just thought I'd learn. I didn't tell anyone that I was doing it. I just thought I'd do it because you know what, I might not have enjoyed it, I might not have been good at it for starters, but it became so addictive and as soon as I started learning, I wanted to learn more and yeah, it was, the DJing was one thing, but then when you're actually learning about production as well, that, it, it just takes it to another level. So learning to DJ is one thing, but then actually getting booked for a job is another. So that was actually quite a challenge and getting people to, to give me the experience of actually DJing in a club is, was, was quite hard at first. Um, some promoters were like, he's not a real DJ and I, I pat, like the music that I was playing, which is quite like very, not, not mainstream, but like I have a very, European and South American influence in my music and just to get to book a job was actually quite hard but now yeah I've I think I've I think I'm definitely proving myself so winter party festival here in Miami was like an amazing experience uh, in 2015 I played the opening party on the Thursday night and then in 2016, I was asked back to play at the beach party, which was just like a magical experience. It was the most amazing day. The weather was fantastic. You're on Miami Beach and you could not have asked for a more incredible experience. Yeah, it was fantastic. So look, fingers crossed I'll be back again next year. Uh, out of all the artists, I think I actually really like to work with Sia. She's an Australian artist, but she's like based in the US at the moment. Uh, also Ariana Grande. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens.
Um, my idol as I was growing up, I would 100% have to say Michael Jackson. Like his music, his dance moves, he was definitely one that we grew up with. We've got like mum and dad had all these records and then we moved to tape and CD. <laughs> but yeah, Michael Jackson. There definitely is a big difference uh, within the, the music in the US and the music in Europe. But I think when you're being booked as a DJ, you just need to stay true to what you actually, uh, your particular sound. Um, so that would actually, it makes it, you, you do have, you, of course you have to adapt a little bit, but yeah, definitely. I think music is definitely universal. Uh, I love playing house and deep house, depending on what the event is for. Um, my sound definitely has a, a huge European and South American influence to it. Like I love the percussion and like that cha-cha sound. It's really hard to give a city uh, like a rating, uh, but the thing that I love about Miami, it is such a melting pot of different cultures and influences. So I really want to come back here and actually spend a little bit more time here exploring because I hear there's so many different like good little pockets that you can go and check out. So if you want to find my music, I'm on SoundCloud and iTunes and I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So it's DJ Dan Slater. Or on Instagram, it's Daniel S L eight R. So back home in Australia, I produce a monthly event called Therapy. It is basically around. It's based around deep house and house music, um, and that's where I work with my production partner Jim Jam as well. So yeah, that that's the that's a style of music that we'll we'll be looking at releasing really soon. It's been great chatting with SFL Style Magazine and thank you to Funky Sexy Studios for having us here today.